Good evening and welcome to our final 2014 ITS World Congress Recap. I'm John Richard with the Michigan Department of Transportation. And I'm Nigel Francis with the Automotive Office of the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. Hard to believe we've come to the end of the road for this World Congress already. It's been great. The largest number of attendees of any ITS World Congress ever held in the Americas, the largest technology showcase of any ITS World Congress, and the most youth involvement in this, that this event has ever seen. A spectacular event on all fronts. We talked on the opening night about all the benefits of ITS technology, from reducing environmental impacts of surface transportation to making mobility accessible to more people no matter what their age or economic status. But the most important result of this will be improving safety and through this saving lives. And that's what we'd like to focus on tonight. Ultimately this technology is about safety and it really is reducing the driver error that causes most of the accidents on the roadway. There's technologies already being instrumented in cars today that will keep you between the paint lines as long as the camera can see the paint lines. So this technology is coming. The ability for a car to talk to another car then provides a whole other level of certainty between the cars as to where they're at in space so that ultimately you end up with cars that refuse to run into each other and refuse to crash. And at the end of the day, there's 30-some thousand people that die every year on America's roadways. This is about reducing that number, and our goal is to get it to zero. The University of Michigan Transportation Research Institute is one of the leading research and development institutes in the world. They've been here all week, both listening to the ITS community and also advising on current and future trends and technology adoption. The whole ITS community has, has focused on safety as the number one priority for connected vehicles. And we've been talking about connected vehicles for almost a decade now. This week is the first time where we're, we're not talking about what we might do or what we could do. We're talking about what we can do. And Michigan DOT, Kirk Stoidel, along with General Motors and some other major automakers and with us in the university, this is the first time that we're actually doing it. And it feels great. And, and certainly, uh, connected vehicles is going to revolutionize the way transportation works in the United States. Safety is the top priority there. Imagine a system where vehicles can talk to one another and communicate their position, their speed, their heading, all to avoid a crash. And that's going to be a game changer for transportation. We, at Umtree, we're looking at all facets of vehicle safety, but I would say the most promising is indeed connected vehicles. Right now, we've got 3,000 vehicles on, connected vehicles on the streets of Ann Arbor communicating with one another to avoid these crashes. This is part of that safety pilot model deployment that's uh, funded by the U.S. DOT. And we're seeing significant indication that, that those technologies are helping drivers identify that, that potential crash scenario. So we are very bullish on connected vehicle technology. The next thing that's coming and you hear a lot about is automated vehicle technology. That's where the vehicle can drive for the driver. We think that's also going to be very helpful for safety, especially when combined with connection, because the connected vehicle uh, technology can provide that automated vehicle a little further view down the road and in those same scenarios that the human can't see either. So we think this combination of connected and automated are, are, be, are going to be what really makes a, is a game changer for automotive safety. This year's ITS World Congress provided a unique look at what emergency responders do on the scene of an accident and how the developments in transportation technology help things run smoother, faster, and safer. Emergency and incident response is a critical element in the management of our transportation networks today throughout the world. Emergency Responder Day was an opportunity for transportation professionals and emergency responders to collaborate and learn from each other the many opportunities available through intelligent transportation systems. The bridge between transportation and emergency response is always needed as we all have one mission together. We can have one response. The day featured a mock version of a traffic incident involving an overturned tanker truck which showed first responders arriving, assessing, responding and clearing the scene utilizing the latest ITS technologies. Representatives from various first responder communities provided real-time narration of the events as they unfolded. Of course, the ultimate goal is prevention of these kinds of accidents, but it is good to know that such events are manageable today, and as ITS technologies continue to be rolled out, then the impact of such events on our daily commute will be minimized. 
We take one last walk around the exhibit hall floor to learn more about what technology is being developed in the area of safety. There are a lot of benefits to ITS technology, but one stands out above the rest. Safety. 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 Saving lives. It's all about saving lives. That's why we're here. We're at an historic time in highway safety. We're looking at figures now that are at their, at their best level ever. You're seeing fatalities drop to a record low, even as you're seeing more people in more autos driving greater distances. And that's not just because you have safer autos. It's, it's also increased driver education. It's state departments of transportation. It's, it's the federal DOT. It's a real collaborative effort of all stakeholders to put all of these big pieces together into the puzzle to get the result we have. The technology on this exhibit hall floor and demonstrated out at Belle Isle this week has just about every aspect of traffic safety covered. There's an area that's called a dilemma zone. That's where you make a decision whether to stop at a red light or run the red light. And this device gives us the ability to extend the green for those people in that dilemma zone. What it tells you is how the roads are at, that, at any given moment. So as soon as it starts to rain or snow or, or black ice, obviously if there's a rain, uh, ice storm, um, that will tell the driver, that will tell the maintenance personnel immediately. And it's changing the industry's approach to safety. You're seeing our focus shift from protecting people in a crash, which is still really important, but we're also now looking at avoiding the crash altogether. 60% of the fatalities are single cars leaving the roadway, and so uh, if we can prevent people from leaving the roadway unintentionally, we're going to do a lot of benefit to saving people's lives, and this is just one of the technologies that, coupled with existing technologies and emerging technologies, is going to do that. When you first hear it, the goal of toward zero deaths seems impossible. But being around this technology, you can't help but begin to believe that that lofty goal is obtainable. That one day, deaths as a result of traffic accidents will be a thing of the past. I look forward to that day. If we can minimize the fatalities, the injuries on the highway, I mean, that's just going to make everything better for all of us. In Cobo Hall, I'm Dawn Garner. A mantra you will hear from a lot of transportation officials is towards zero deaths. ITS technologies will lead us there. Absolutely. The conference wrapped up this afternoon with the closing ceremonies. Attendees heard about future perspectives for ITS and talked about the progress that was made over the past five days right here in Detroit. There was a highlight video of the event and then the passing of the globe. So it's back to work for us, on to Bordeaux, France for the ITS World Congress in 2015. Thank you for taking the time to join us for these recaps. While there's no way to completely capture the excitement and energy here uh, this week, we hope you have a better understanding of intelligent transportation systems and that we've helped you get excited about what this means for Michigan and how it will shape our future. So for all our video production team, thank you and good night.